You cursed brat! Look what you've done! I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world! What a world! Who would have thought a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? Ah! Ah, uh, dudes, it's been a while again, no thanks to my new PC going AWOL for two weeks, but now that that's been dealt with, let's get back into the swing of things before Nerofest shows up. Flappy Butt! Oh, oh, Sandy Plankin saw one! He called, he said it was called, uh, a butt! Oh, wow, that's a pretty big butt. Is a five star alter ego introduced with the CCC and Seraph events. And while Kiara Ara may have been the first alter ego I actually made a video about, Melt gets the distinction of being the first one actually added to the game. Score one for flat chest lovers around the world. And if you'll excuse me, gents, I might be calling her Flappy Butt for the rest of this video. What do you mean you don't want to Nero Bongo those cheeks? Commando Girl's main role is a hard DPS, probably because her butt makes some people go hard when they see it. And I know you've got those Melt Dojins you have up on Sad Panda in separate tabs right now. She's got a Lancer deck, decent Star Gen, good MP Gen, and two different buff types for herself. Three, if you count her MP's overcharge effect. She's also an alter ego which has Zerk advantage against Birmingham's, esports commentators, and Ezio auditoriums, so this package of effects together make up a solid DPS profile for her, so long as you're fighting against those classes and gutses and not against token Ramboos, Mr. Sterling, and Irish Doges. Looking a bit deeper into her kit, and I did not intend for that to be an innuendo, but I guess it is now, her first skill gives her two-hit evasion and produces crit stars. This means that Melt has a way to give herself the crit stars that she might need for her own face cards in case she doesn't have enough or if you forgot to bring a stabby lolly. This is also her only layer of hard defense and it's no protection from literally fucking everything either. It only lasts for three turns and with the skill's five turn cooldown at max level, Melt will always have at least a two turn window where she will take damage if she's targeted. This is especially important to note when you also factor in her second skill which is her main attack buff at the cost of 10% defense. Strangely, this debuff seems to completely ignore the fact that Melt has 40 fucking percent debuff resist from her passives, which makes as much sense as Archer's having a caster deck with a motherfucking Buster MP. Since Melt has no other defensive abilities and her own HP rating isn't the greatest as far as SSRs are concerned, her HP can quickly become an issue if you don't have a sustain on your team to help her out. This means that for maximum skill synergy, always try to pop her first and second skills together. It also helps that both of them have 5 turn cooldowns at max rank, so you'll always be able to use them together in conjunction in that way, so you can mitigate the damage she'll be taking while her defense debuff is active if you don't otherwise have a cleaner. Or you can be an idiot like me and pretend Melt is Irish and pop her evade turn 1 for absolute galaxy brain plays, which is another way of saying good job wasting her fucking crit stars, dumbass! Her third skill is the trickiest to use because it features the one mechanic that all FGO players across the world find the most fucking annoying to deal with a delay buff. Not only that, but DW, in an effort to show the player base that they're more big brain than they actually are, gave this skill a 50% MP damage reduction debuff for all of Melt's teammates when she uses the skill. If there's one thing we know all our gacha money isn't doing, it's paying for better game designers. It does have some utility by doing the same for all enemies too, but the problem is that realistically, you won't run into many opportunities where not only does Melt have her MP ready to go, but the enemies have their own MPs about to sploosh on her, and you also have this third skill ready to go. And don't forget that you need to wait one turn for Melt to get her own MP damage buff out of this too. That's just a lot of variables to line up perfectly for you to use this skill as optimally as possible. So just treat it as an MP damage buff, it's gonna be a lot simpler for you that way. If you're in a position where enemies will get their MPs off, MP damage reductions aren't gonna cut it most of the time, and besides, you'll just use Merlin's Invil for that shit anyway, because when don't you use that fucker? The team MP debuff is also annoying to deal with because if you use it at the wrong time, you're gimping your own team's potential DPS. You can clean it, of course, but that's not always gonna happen. The good news is that DW eventually realized that they, in fact, are just Pepicas. 
very rich Pepegas, but Pepegas nonetheless, and buffed Melt Virus, which sounds like something you'd make in Plague Inc. So that you no longer had to deal with the delay buff, and instead just get her MP damage buff immediately. And as if that weren't a big enough buff already, they even gave the MP damage buff a two-turn duration rather than just one, and they gave it scaling from 20 to 30 percent, whereas before it was just a static 20 percent. This not only turns Flappy Butt into an even better DPS with two 30% damage buff types, but also a more flexible one, because now this means that she can actually put her MP damage debuff effect to much better use by being able to combo it with her MP, which removes all buffs on one target without losing out on her own MP damage buff. You could also use the two-turn MP buff as a way to fish for a Melt Brave Chain in case you are more focused on the damage, which you kinda should be, because that's what she's for, not team utility. While she does have a bit of it, namely the buff removal on her MP, because who the fuck's actually gonna use her MP debuff properly, Flappy Butt doesn't help you by being a team player, she helps you by fucking ice skating on people, like she's playing Siege with 200 ping until everyone on the other side dies. So when's the best time to whip out Asanagi Girl? I'd say against casters and assassins. If you're running meta support, then you have at least one caster up in front, if not two. Too. So that means that against riders, your supports are at risk of getting <laughs> out of the game with a single crit, and Melt might not be able to take him out fast enough because of her half advantage against them. Enemy casters are a much safer bet thanks to the 0.9x caster attack mod and the bonus 20% MP gen you get from attacking enemy casters, making Flappy Butt's job of getting her own MP even easier. And not to mention, enemy casters have 5 tick MPs, which give you plenty of time to take them out or otherwise prepare for them. Assassins are self-explanatory, since by that point your entire team probably has advantage over them in some way. Just watch out for their 3 tick NPs and you should be fine. Zerks can go either way, but keep in mind that because alter egos have yet to have a true class disadvantage to any other class, and again I don't count Indian Kardashian, the closest thing they have to it is fighting against Zerks, who still have their 50% attack bonus against them. Which means that if you want to put up Melt against Zerks, you better make damn sure that she doesn't get melted by a random buster crit out of nowhere. When it comes to supports not named Grace Husbando or Futo Lover, Lusamine can give Flappy Butt the three things that she doesn't have in just one skill. A heal, a star pull, and eventually a crit buff. The fact that Bryn also has her own MP damage debuff means that together with Melt, they can gimp one enemy for 80% MP damage debuff, by which point you could actually just face tank an MP like the BDRM in PUBG driving through Pachinki. Not recommended either way, but you'd survive. Probably. Oh, and speaking of Bryn, she'll be getting a raid up real soon with Nerofest. Oh, would you look at that! It's almost time to get bent over by the gotcha again. And speaking of Nerofest, Waifu Nero is also another good non-caster support for Flappy Butt, since you can stack all of Nero's skills on Melt and she'll put them to good use, and even better once Nero gets her 30% charge buff. Only need to wait two fucking years for that shit! Someone's go set an alarm for two years from now to get Deku to come back to FGO. Mash is another excellent support for Flappy Butt, since all of her skills benefit her heavily, so if you need a solid free-to-play support not named Hans Mimerson, look no further. Actually, why aren't you using Mesh in the first place anyway? CE choices are pretty flexible for Flappy Butt, so long as you give her something that improves her DPS in some way, like color buffs or attack buffs. So take whichever is the strongest that you have, or your preferred DPS CE in case you have a particular preferred DPS playstyle. Her Bond CE's effects are actually really good, but again, the plus 100, 100 stats on it holds it back because if there's one meme that DW will never break, it's good Bonzi's not named Snow Castle. So Flappy Butt is a straightforward servant with a well-defined role, but with a bit of a steeper learning curve than other DPS servants due to her class and her third skill pre-buff. You'll need to get your reps in with her so that you can get a sense for her skill timings, combat potential, and utility. It's also worth mentioning that due to the Alter Ego's class advantage against filthy NA plebs, Melt is a prime choice to field against a certain tentacle-powered American lolly who loves shoving keys into holes. God damn it, Japan! And speaking of lollies, actually, I think I know where Melt got her extra animation. <laughs> And that's all you need to know about Happy Feet. Happy Feet! Wombo Combo! That ain't Falco! That ain't Falco! Oh! 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 Oh!
Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the Nero Caster video that I should have put out at the same time or around the same time as this one. And until next time, deuces. Oh, I see my